Hey guys, and welcome to day three of 31 days of getting to know me. And today is a little mini story time. So I'm just gonna talk about the last, let's say year and a half, two years since we've been in the pandemic and kind of just talk about what the next year or two looks like for both I and for love and happiness. So first things first, um, to recap the last year and a half to two years, um, Paul and I were living in Los Angeles. Uh, we have since moved to Las Vegas, Nevada, and so far so good. Um, we love the area. It's definitely hot. We don't have a beach <laughs> like we used to in LA, but, um, all in all, it works out for our family. We're both currently working from home. Uh, so we have the flexibility of still maintaining our pay from California, but that living um, in a lower cost state uh, such as Nevada. So that works out for us. Um, we recently purchased a Tesla. Um, and so um, <laughs> that has been crazy. Um, and it's been like a dream come true for me. I was, I have been having that vehicle on my car since 2000. 2018 as a um, dream car and so now I have it um, and it feels still feels uh, a bit surreal for me um, but I'm getting used to it um, and I'm gonna be trying to do a video um, about our recent road trip that we took from the west coast to the east coast um, to visit my mom um, probably this weekend. I was trying to have it done last weekend, but life got in the way of that. Um, and I actually forgot until I just <laughs> remembered it. So I'm going to be putting it on my to-do list for the weekend. Um, and then also, you know, we relocated the business from Los Angeles to Nevada as well, um, which came with its own challenges, own business regulations, um, and things like that. So just like one thing that we had to do was instead of in California, we can um, file our taxes yearly. Now we have to file them monthly. So um, that was getting getting <laughs> some used to um, and all of that. So one of the things that we're going to be working on for 2022 is getting Love and Happiness trademarked. Um, if for some reason we can't get it trademarked, then we're going to have to um, revamp and rebrand. So we're going through that process right now of kind of clearing out options or airing out options if we are able to do one or the other, um, which kind of places things on a halt for the business, so to speak, um, because you can't grow the business if you can't grow the business. Um, but um, with that being said, I hope to give you guys an update in the next couple of months in regards to that process and kind of walking you through the behind the scenes of what we're doing, how we're doing it, how long it takes. Um, but for now, you know, the business is operating as it is. In September, we re-released our rituals collection, which is catered to self-care, meditation, um, and overall just well-being or well um, wellness for your well-being. Um, so initially we had candles and bath care. If you guys follow me for my self-care Sundays, you guys know that I normally take a bath where I feature bath products such as bath bombs, um, that I normally get from Lush, Bath Salt, that I normally have from Loving Happiness, unless it's another company that I'm using at the time, um, Bath, uh, Bubble Bath, uh, and then Roses. So that's traditionally, you know, what that's catered to. I'm either lighting a candle or lighting incense or something um, and playing some music, um, have Palo Santo or Sage or something like that to cleanse um, and clear out all of the negative energy from the day or from the week. Um, and so moving forward, um, we are going to be solidifying more wholesale clients. So what that means is you'll be able to get all of your love and happiness needs in like maybe retailers. Um, I know we had a contract with Walmart at one point in time, and we we're also looking at a contract with Amazon. Um, and so <laughs> those are all challenging, um, within their own rights, either whether it's Amazon or whether it's Walmart, um, you have to have inventory, you have to have staff. Um, and at this point, it's just a team of one um, or 
life with my virtual assistant. So um, it is a bit challenging to grow your business, to build your business. This is year two, next year will be year three. Um, and we've grown so much from an idea um, that I had when I was unemployed, when I moved to LA. Um, and then kind of like just now the forefront and, and having repeat clients, new clients. Um, so I'm totally blessed um, and I cannot wait to share everything that we've been thinking of. Um, for me, I think where I see love and happiness growing is really just on the staple products that we need and have to have every day. Um, so for me, I've been on an incredible journey of just meditation and just peace and just joy within my life and creating what I think is best. Um, you know, being a black woman and being married, people automatically assume that you want kids. <laughs> and so we really have to just be okay with um, setting our own life and setting our own expectations um, and saying no you know what I mean like we have an amazing life we're in love um, you know we're still fairly in that new stage of marriage I mean we only been married like I say four or five years at this point we've been together about seven years um, and just like you know just wanting different things or just wanting whatever you want right and I think that um, having those conversations or having a safe space um, to perform whatever Whatever life you want or build the life that you want is really important and so that's something that love and happiness is built on is really just creating the life that you want being happy and being okay with whatever it is um so like i said paul and i are are great um and you know our decision to or to not have kids doesn't have anything to do with you know, whether we love each other or not. I think that women um, are multifaceted. And so just to put us in a box and say, oh, you can only have this or only have that, or oh, you've been married for X, Y, Z years or X, Y, Z time frame, you should have a kid or you should be here or there, or oh my gosh, you travel so much, you guys should have a buy, buy a house or like whatever it is. I just feel like we have to have those conversations with ourselves first and be okay with not, um, with not um diving into those stereotypes so um yeah this is my story time for december the third i'm going to be doing a part two series and then also tomorrow december 4th is saturday and it's going to be a vlog so i'm going to be taking you guys on the journey with us um i think we're going to the movies we might do some other things um i might do some business stuff in the morning so i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for tuning in bye